Welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today my cameraman Houston and I are happy to bring you the Planner Essentials Collection from Elizabeth Crafts. We have lots to show you, so come play with us. Okay, the Elizabeth Craft Planner Essentials look like this. It comes with this wonderful collection. I'm going to show you everything. Um, and we'll go one by one so you can see what you can do with them as well. So this first item is the Planner Months cutting dies. They're all backwards, of course, but we have one for each month. Then we have the Planner's Essential number four page and more. So this die here makes an entire page. No more buying individual s stock for your planners. You just cut your own pages whenever you need them. It also has cute photo dies, um, tabs, and tags. The Planner Essentials number seven, tag sheets and more. So these pages are actually, um, these dies rather, are actually tag shaped pages, which are really great. And they also come with reinforcements. The Planner Film Strip Cutting Dies, great for notes even, or doing photos in your planner, as well as these are for photos as well and a tab. The pocket, the planner pocket cutting dies. This is my favorite. It also has these great little tabs on it um, with little comments like, uh, you know, moment and things like that. I love that. The next one is the bullet journaling number one clear stamp st stamps. This one is for traveling. This one is calendar clear stamps. Um, it's got the days of the week, um, as well as the abbreviated days of the week, some little notes, and then actually little individual calendar um, stamps, which I will show you how we use those. And then this is the bullet journaling number three. Um, this one is great for, for um, habit trackers and for menu planning. This one was really fun to use. And finally, the month's clear calendar stamps great one to have as well. So let's just get right into this. There are three different colors of planners, okay? So there's the espresso, the champagne, and the lime. So let's start with the espresso. I'm gonna show you what's in this one. So it's got this beautiful, excuse me, this is the champagne one, I just called it espresso. This is the champagne one, it's got this beautiful shimmer to it. It's got a nice strap to keep it closed. Inside, a nice blue color. It's got some pockets. And this is the planner that I did to show you last night. So um, I used Denim Bouquet Paper Pack from Hot Off The Press on this one. So I made a cover page and then I made a calendar page. Now I did this because the calendar planner is what I really need at my house. So I made my own grid, really easy to do. I just used a ruler and a fine point black Sharpie pen. And I just went through and I made my grid. And then I used the days of the week stamp. Then just hand lettered, um, I'll hand numbered all of these. And then um, I went ahead and used the roses stamp set from Hot Off The Press. And I made a border. And actually I did that first I used the pages die, and which comes like this, and I die cut two pages. Now, what's great about this die is that it's it's a really um, well-made die. It cuts more than one page at a time, so you're not just going to be cranking out one page. So, depending on the thickness of your cardstock, I mean, you shouldn't have any problem cutting three pages at a time. So um, what I did first was um, I used the stamp to do a border down one side, okay? And then I used the corner stamp here. And then to color these in, I used the new um, stamps from, the new pens from um, Spectrum Noir. These are tri-blends. And I haven't had an opportunity to show you guys how these work yet. So I'm just going to use one of my pages here. The tri-blends are regular Spectrum Noir pens, um, alcohol ink pens, except there's three color gradations and three tips in one pen. And it makes the blending process absolutely effort effortless. I love it, it is my new favorite thing. So let me show you how this works. This is the dark pink, okay? And I used this to color my 
flowers. Okay, so that's the dark pink. And then it says right here, it's labeled, so it's dark. And then there's the mid color, so I know what I'm doing. I won't lose my place. And just start coloring in, kind of overlapping the dark. And then I go to the light. Whoops. And I go to the light. And starting in the mid-color, the mid -color, I kind of overlap that as well. And look at that gradation. It's perfect and was completely effortless. So this is a brilliant product. Um, these retail, you guys, for $4.99. So for $4.99, you get three pens and so easy to store, so easy to carry around. That's my new favorite thing. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm using these every day, several times a day. All right, so I've done my border on my planner. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I also used the calendar months die right here at the top. And then one of the things that I loved about um, personalizing my planner was that I like trying to keep track of what I'm eating during the day and also if I'm making sure how much water I'm drinking. So for me, that was just a really um, a, a great addition. So I used the tag stamp as well as the bullet journaling number three for this. What's great about this is each tag is for two days and then when I'm done with those two days, I can just take it out and I can just keep going. So that's really handy for me. Um, and then also, all of these wonderful little birthday stamps, I mean, if I'm meeting a friend for tea, because I don't drink coffee, and uh, trips and birthdays and things like that, um, dentist appointments, all fun and things to put in here. And then also just little notes if I wanna reference a date and put more information about it. Um, here on the page, when I was doing my page, I wanted to do sort of a different reinforcement, so I have my page. And then I die cut another um, page, or actually maybe like even just an eighth of a page, like that. And then I just did a little easy tearing right down the edge. And then I glued this right over my page like this and just got a fun torn edge and reinforcement. So it's another little decorative element to personalize your planner. All right, so then I also wanted to show you because I've colored on my pages with Spectrum Noir pens, I do have a bleed through the cardstock. So what I did is to solve that, I just backed that page with another die cut page, okay? And so here I'm using the pocket which I love because I've always got appointment cards and things like that to carry around with me. So now they're all right there. And then another thing that um, I really love about planners, I keep my calendars. I keep them for years and my family members think, why are you keeping all these calendars? But then if somebody wants to know what was the name of that place we went to that one time, I can grab an old calendar and I can tell them. Well, now I can even add photos to my planners, my calendars. So um, I can remember fun, th fun things that we did. So if we, we take a family trip or here's a concert my daughter and I just went to, um, a family picture that I love. And then if we're on that beach vacation and it was really fun, then I can just write down where we stayed and I don't have to call my sister-in-law and say, hey, what was the name of that hotel you recommended? I forgot. So I can just refer to the planners that I've kept, which for me makes my life so much easier. So that's one style of planner. So let me show you, before I go on to the next one, here is the lime green planner. This one I love, it's just an explosion of color and then on the inside it's got this really beautiful turquoise as well. And then we've also got the espresso planner. All right. And then Debbie did these samples for us and she did several different kinds of planners, which I love. She gave us samples for all of these. So you could have these all in one planner or you could have an individual planner like I did um, for whatever, whatever thing you appeals to you. So on this one, Debbie did a weekly menu. So it's 
sort of menu planning, which I love. And this particular paper pack was called the Ingredients Collection. So a lot of this art and, of course, the background papers are from that paper pack. And then also this recipe card was also featured in the paper pack, which you can just put right in the pocket, which I love, and you could make more of those. And then here, she's done her menu planning by using the, the same one here, the bullet journaling number three with the breakfast, lunch, dinner right here, and then the days of the week. She just made her own simple grid. And here, how great to have a shopping list right there. You could glue one in, or you could do multiple of them, which I think is a great idea. Notes, and then an individual pocket so it was glued back to back. So let me show you this pocket die. I love this for coupons. So here's the pocket die, which I'm gonna use this pocket die for scrapbooking pages and for card making and all kinds of different things. I think it's really, really versatile. So the pocket die works like this. It's got flaps that you just go ahead and they're already fold, ready to fold. Oops. There we go. And then you do the bottom. Okay, so easy enough. And then what Debbie did was she made two of these and then she just glued them together on the sides and you're just aligning those holes so that they fit in your planner. So I thought that was a great idea. And then she also did this great art section. Okay, so for those of you who are going to crops or art classes, um, this is a really fun way to keep um, these organized. And the border that she used here and here. Um, this is from Dark Room Door and it's their large, um, long border stamps. And this one is just adorable with the paint brushes and the paints. And then she also used her tag. Let me see if I can find that to show you. Here we go. All right, this one is the Planner Essentials number seven. And as you can see, this particular tag right here, it's got sort of an embellished edge. She used that as along with the calendar stamp to make a calendar of when her art classes are. I think that was a really great idea. So she always has that with her. All right. And then just a really fun page using this particular one. She used the film strip die just as a decoration, but you can also put photos in that. Then this one I thought was great, a vacation planner. So you can keep all of the information that you may find if you're doing internet searches. You can write down your sites on here. As you keep your receipts, your maps, your ideas in this great pocket that she made. And then also, once again, use this tag die, but use this one. And then she took some twine and threaded it through those holes along the edge and added a tag. I thought that was really great. And then here's the tag page and of course the standard page. So just ready to go with all of your vacation information. How fun to put photos with that as well. I would really encourage you to check out this um, money saver that we have today. It's a great opportunity to get started. We've included what we think is what it takes for you to just get right in. It's got a planner, it's got the page dies that you need and everything else to get really get started on this. So check out the money saver on the right side of your screen. And if you're watching us on YouTube, just look down in the description section for the link for that money saver and also to take you back to paperwishes.com for all kinds of crafty ideas. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next week.